Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I've got some pretty awesome news for you guys. And that is, well, Halo 3 is finally getting a brand new skull. On MCC, of course. So, back in the day, Halo 3, when it launched on MCC, it, it well, launched with the same set of skulls, the exact same set that it had on um, OG Halo 3, the uh, Xbox 360 version. No new skulls were added to the game, and, you know, I guess it was, it is what it is at the time. We saw Cowbell, we saw, you know, some of the other fun skulls like that. But Halo 2 on MCC for Halo 2 Anniversary, it got a lot of really fun skulls and really awesome, useful ones too. Such as the Bandana Skull, the Scarab Skull, for example. <laughs> that skull, oh man, I had so much fun with that skull. And... There's so much you could do with those skulls, especially for like, you know, the stuff that we should do on this channel. But while Halo 2 got a lot of new skulls, and later even Halo CE, Halo 3 really got nothing. Until now. So, if you've been in the uh, Halo Insider Flight, uh, you may have noticed at one point that Halo 3 got a new skull in a menu called the Acrophobia Skull. Acrophobia is the fear of heights, and I saw a lot of people speculating about what the skull might be. Some people thought it might have been like a uh, no jump skull, others thought it might be like a super jump skull, and some people thought it was a flying skull. Well, the people that thought it was a flying skull turned out to be the correct ones. So this is the first time really a Halo game on MCC has gotten a new skull. The last time was with Halo CE, and this is like way before Halo 1 even came to PC again. Uh, this is like, I don't remember how long ago it was, but it was it's been a while now. But basically got the same skulls that Halo 2 Anniversary had, such as um, Sputnik Skull, uh, some of the uh, scoring ones as well, Blind Skull for example. But this new skull on Halo 3 that will be available when it launches, um, on, you know, when the full version launches on PC, this skull is a skull that lets you fly around uh, on demand, which this is the uh, the one video they posted on the recent Halo Waypoint blog update, which uh, I, it's a really good read actually. The uh, the June Halo Waypoint dev update. It's uh, a lot of interesting stuff, such as the skull. Now there are a lot of other things announced, like uh, skins for weapons and vehicles in uh, Halo One, as well as like some emblem fixes for Halo Three. But that's those are like other subjects that we can discuss in other videos in the future. But this skull, you know, anytime you want, you can just simply. Uh, fly around. It's a, uh, I guess the, the best comparison would be like Minecraft's creative mode, except for Halo 3. You can uh, fly around really quickly anytime you want and well, it's awesome. Like in my personal opinion, this is the greatest skull ever in the history of Halo. It's uh, right up there with the Scarab skull and the Bandana skull. But as far as usefulness goes and all the fun you can have with it, I, I think this is probably the, the best one. I mean, sure, Bandana is actually extremely useful uh, when we do like glitches and stuff, as well as Scarab Skull. But this, well, this is like something I've always wanted in the Halo game. On the older PC games, like Halo 1 and 2 for PC, like before MCC, there were like mod tools you could use to fly around and explore out of the map and stuff. But, you know, you didn't need the mod for those, and those same tools are not available anymore for the MCC PC versions. So, flying around outside the map or really anywhere, especially without theater mode in the older Halo games, is uh, not convenient and it does take a bit of modding and is, uh, well, like I said, it's not it's not convenient and having this skull available just has so much potential and we can use it to explore pretty much anywhere on the map now. It's places that were like previously unreachable or difficult to reach without modding now are within reach once this skull becomes available so it's uh it's pretty awesome and i do believe this will be like the best skull ever and i i hope like in addition to halo 3 the skull gets added to all the halo games halo 1 2 uh odst reach 4 all those hopefully they all get eventually but yeah, so that wraps it up for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys found this to be interesting. If you did enjoy it, as always, make sure to leave a like. And of course, if there's anything else we need to check out or look into, or if you're just really excited about the skull as well, just you know, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, be sure to uh, look into all that eventually. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.